Prince Harry and Meghan Markle took a poignant trip to his late mother's childhood home in North Ants which also serves as her final resting place. Prince Harry took Meghan Markle to meet his late mother, Princess Diana, at her final resting place before proposing. Getty, Princess Diana was buried on the Althorpe estate where her brother, Charles IX Earl Spencer lives. The fifth in line to the British throne's visit with the former Suits actress Meghan, 36, came in November just days before he proposed, according to reports. Harry, 33, wanted Meghan to have the opportunity to speak to Diana while he himself quietly asked for her blessing to marry his American love, according to Daily Star Online. Prince Harry was just 12 when his mother Princess Diana was killed in a car crash in Paris in 1997. Getty, they also planned to return to the grave to spend more time with Diana ahead of their wedding on May 19. A source told the publication, Harry has already taken Meghan to Althorpe to see his mum, but they will go back before the big day. Harry wanted to take Meghan to see and speak to her Diana, it was very personal for Harry. I think he quietly asked his mum for her blessing to marry Meghan, too. Princess Diana is buried on an island within the Althorpe estate which is owned by her brother Charles the Ninth Earl Spencer, Wire Image. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are set to wed in Windsor on May 19. Getty, Prince Harry was just 12 years old when his mother was killed in Paris following a horror car crash in 1997 she was 36. He and his older brother Prince William, who was 15 at the time, walked behind her coffin as the funeral procession made its way through London. Last year marked the 20th anniversary of Princess Diana's death. Reflecting on her passing during a special interview, the red-haired royal confessed that it had left a profound effect on him. Prince Harry has previously opened up about the mental struggles he faced after losing his mother at such a young age. Getty, after years of mentally shutting out the pain and suffering panic attacks, he finally decided to seek counseling when he was 28. He told The Telegraph, I didn't know what was wrong with me. I was very close to a complete breakdown on numerous occasions. From an emotional side, I was like right, don't ever let your emotions be part of anything. So, I was a typical sort of 20, 25, 28-year-old running around going life is great, or life is fine, adding, then I started to have a few conversations and then, all of a sudden, all of this grief that I'd never processed came to the forefront. I was like, there is actually a lot of stuff here I need to deal with.